I am building a vortex cannon so that I can put it against the drone. Is that a good idea? Well, let's build a vortex cannon first and find out. Vortex cannons are not a novel idea and people have been building them in all shapes and sizes. From the smallest being probably a Dixie cup with a balloon, to the largest being a huge canonical tube set up by explosives. While the latter is an amazing cannon, it's probably a good idea to stay away from using that in one's backyard. Therefore, I present to you the Trashcan Vortex Cannon, an easier but still powerful build. Here's your Vortex Cannon shopping list. A trash can, some bungee cords, duct tape, a shower curtain, and fasteners like eye bolts, nuts and washers. For smoke, I'd recommend getting a fog machine and of course fog liquid. I managed to find a fantastic deal on a used Martin Magnum 550 for just 30 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. But if you're looking for brand new options, Amazon has great fog machines in the $40, $50 range. Be sure to check the video description for an Amazon link to a fog machine that I've tested which worked pretty well. So let's get started. Cut a hole in the bottom of the trash can. It's best to start with a small hole and then experiment with larger ones to find the ideal size, otherwise you'll find yourself buying a new trash can. I'm creating here two round plastic discs that will be used to sandwich the membrane, aka the shower curtain. The fasteners will go in the middle of the discs with the eyeballs on opposite ends. One to attach the bungee cords and one to provide something to pull the membrane. Using some small screws, sandwich the shower curtain between the two plastic discs. Then connect one eye bolt on the pull side and one inside where the bungee cords will be attached. The eye bolts connect to each other via a coupling nut. Your final assembly should look like this. I did use larger washers to secure the eye bolts to the plastic discs because I wanted to make sure the discs won't break easily. Place the membrane over the top of the trash can and center the discs as well as you can. Push down the membrane to ensure enough travel, therefore enough air pressure coming out of the other side of the trash can. A longer bungee cord can be used to secure the membrane to the trash can so that any excess material can be trimmed. No air should escape when firing the cannon, so use plenty of duct tape to seal the membrane to the trash can. The bungee cords need to be secured to the walls of the trash can, so find the sturdiest place to attach them. Proceed to adjust the length of the bungee cords to ensure optimal pull. Make sure you buy bungee cords that allow you to adjust the length by tying a knot, otherwise you'll have a hard time getting enough force to generate a nice smoke ring. Do a test. Pull on the membrane a couple of times and make any necessary adjustments to the cords. It's hard to fire the cannon without something to hold it, so I converted this broken kitchen chair into a support for the cannon. While a more sturdier support will be better, I think this is good for now because it gives me the flexibility of moving the cannon almost 360 degrees. Now that the cannon is ready, I warmed up the fog machine and loaded the cannon with a generous amount of dense fog. Let's see some smoke rings. This is awesome! The cannon is performing great, but there's one aspect that's not quite satisfying. Loading the smoke through the front of the cannon is a bit of a hassle. But if we can connect the fog machine to the bottom of the cannon, it'll make things much more, well, automated. You'll need some flexible duct, which might require a trip to the hardware store, but you could also get creative and use whatever scraps you have around. In my case, I had some leftover 4-inch flexible duct from a bathroom fan replacement. The key thing here is to use something flexible and ensure there's enough length so that you can move the cannon around and aim in any direction without disruption.
that's it! A rapid smoke reloading vortex cannon. But don't forget, this is not the end of this story. I still want to equip it with a manual trigger so that I can add more tension to the pull and create a faster and stronger smoke ring. Ultimately, I want to see if my drone can be disrupted by the smoke rings this cannon generates. Thank you for watching and please let me know what you think in the comment section.